Are you sick of trying to hide your mess every single time you have to jump on a Zoom call? Well, you're in luck. My name is Melissa Mitchell and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a virtual Zoom background using Canva. Now, what I love about this software is it's completely free to use. So let me jump onto my computer and show you exactly how to use this for yourself. Okay guys, so I want to show you how to use Canva to create really cool virtual backgrounds in Zoom. So this is the main dashboard when you log into your Canva account. This is where you will see all the different templates that you can use for designing anything really. They have Instagram stories, videos, YouTube thumbnails, the list goes on and on. You can always search for anything that you're looking for at the, at the top here in this search box. So I'm just gonna say Zoom and it'll, it'll pop up with what you want to create. So that gives me some different options here. It says Zoom virtual background, Earth Day Zoom virtual background, and funny Zoom virtual background. So I'm gonna just choose the first one, first one, Zoom virtual background. And then here, it's going to give me all of these different options as templates. So depending on what your business is, these are some kind of fun different options for you. I really like this space one. So let's click that and see what that one's all about. So it's going to bring you into this editor here. So you can see at the top where the play button is. If you hit play, it shows you that it is a moving background. So it will be moving behind you while you're talking on Zoom. If you wanted to add anything else to it, you could come over to the far left hand side here to the different tab. There's photos, there's elements, there's text, there's different videos. If you wanted to add a video on a video for some reason, you could do that. If you wanted to add a logo to your virtual background, say you're wanting to do some branding or anything like that, you could definitely do that. So you could go to uploads and I'm going to scroll all the way down until I find my logo. There we go. So if I click on it, it pulls it automatically into the main platform here. So if I grab one of the corners here and just move my mouse in, it'll just make it a little bit smaller and I can pull it down into the right hand corner. Perfect. So say this is what I want my virtual background to be. I would just come up to the top here and hit download and it gives me an automatic recommendation of what I should download this file as, which is video. So I'm gonna hit download on that guy and it's going to do its thing, perfect. So now that it's been downloaded to my computer, I can say go to home page and it's going to bring me back to the home page. So again, say I wanted to create a different one, right? I can go back into that Zoom background and I can click all of these different app options. Some of them are the moving video like the one I chose, whereas some are more of a standstill image, right? Like this one is just an image of an office. So if I wanted that to be my background, that would be totally fine. Again, I could come over here. I could add text to it. I could do all of those fun things. Let's add some text to this guy here. Here. So let's say this is an example of how to use Canva and Zoom. Right? I could make it bigger, got a capital there. And if I scroll this in, it makes it go onto a couple different lines here, which is kind of nice. I could pull this up just like that. If I want to make this smaller, again, I could just come in here, highlight it all, and change the font size here. I could change the font over here. I can make it different. So say it, that's what I want it to say down there. I'm gonna drag it down here. Okay, so once we have, once we have an example of what we want or a, a finished product that we want, again, we would just come up here, hit download. This time it's giving me an option of a PNG, which is fine. So hit download again and it will download. So now let's come over into Zoom and actually set it up as our virtual background so you can see what that's going to look like. So we'll zoom over here. So I'm gonna go new meeting, that's fine. So right now it's just obviously, it says my name, I can go start video and now I will be on screen. So if I wanted to put the virtual background on here so that you can't actually see the background behind me, I can do that. To do that, you're gonna go down to the left-hand corner here where it says stop video. But instead of hitting that button, you're going to actually hit the little up arrow um, right beside it on the right hand side of that. So you're gonna click that and it says choose virtual background. So you're gonna click that guy. Now it'll bring up this screen right here. So these are all your different virtual backgrounds. So of course you could pick the ones that are already in Zoom and now I'm, you know, with a bridge behind me, I have some grass, I have the earth, all that fun stuff. Or you can hit this little plus button where it says add image or video. So you're gonna click that and go add video because the first one we created in Canva was a video. 
So I'm gonna go to my download section here and I found it just sitting right there in my downloads. So I'm gonna click that. And now, as you can see, I am, my background is video. So do you notice one thing about this virtual background? I made a mistake on purpose just so that you could see this. When I uploaded my logo onto here, my logo is backwards. This is because Zoom actually mirrors whatever you've put as the image. So if that's the case, we're gonna want to create a different one with the logo actually backwards in Canva. So let me show you how to do that. So we're gonna go back over into Canva here. We're gonna find that original design that we did. So here we go, swirling stars in space. This is the one we created before. So we're actually going to want to flip it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click it here and go up to the top here where it says flip and we're going to flip horizontally, okay? Perfect, so now I can download this guy again. Video is fine, hit download. Now we can come back over to Zoom and hit that choose virtual background again and let's delete this one and go back up into add video and find the new one that we created. Okay, so now as you can see the logo is the right way you can see it the proper way okay so if you're ever adding any pictures any logos anything like that you're going to want to make sure that you flip it the opposite way that the way that looks weird in canva so that it shows up properly in zoom okay so now if we wanted to add the next one we're going to go add image and we're going to hit the professional office this one and there we go we're in the office now as you can see so it would be the same thing with text right so I showed you how we put the text the proper way. We'd have to flip it again so that it was readable in that way. But for most virtual backgrounds, you're gonna want it just to be a picture um, and just kind of have fun with it. But that's a fun way to create virtual backgrounds that are branded to your brand. Now, I would love to know what kind of business you have. So make sure to comment below and let me know. This is such a fun and easy way to add some personality to your Zoom calls. And if you own a business, to add some branding to your Zoom calls as well. Not to mention, if you don't have the prettiest of backgrounds, a virtual background can be your best friend. Now, if you like this video, please make sure to comment, like, and subscribe for more future videos.